Okay, friends, oh my god. There is no end to how far the deep state will go. Okay, so you remember a few months back, uh, FBI agent Strzok was on congressional trial or whatever. He had to answer to Congress about his text messages between him and the lovely Lisa Page. And there was transcript released of every single text message. So the American people have already seen them. So what happens when special counsel Robert Mueller, who's supposed to turn the phones over to the office of the inspector general, looks at the text messages? He determines on his own. So Mueller decides on his own that they're not worth uh, anything. That these texts, that there's nothing in them. He decides they're nothing burger on his own and he resets the phones to factory specifics. Erasing, basically erasing all the text messages and all the Trump, anti-Trump bias messages between Peter Strzok and the lovely Lisa Page. When he was supposed to turn those over to the office of the Inspector General. So you have to ask yourself, who is this Robert Mueller? What is he? Well, he's one of the attorneys that defended Clinton during the Whitewater scandal. So, if that tells you anything, he's a deep state player himself. Mueller was put in place as a deep state player to cover up all the crimes of the Democrats and take down the duly elected president. Okay, so at the same time, we got this senator who's not only calling for articles impeachment against Trump when there is no reason Trump can be impeached. He's calling for articles of impeachment, but that's not all. What else is he calling for? He's calling for the elimination of the Electoral College. Now, for those of you who do not understand it, the process of the Electoral College, it serves a very specific purpose. The Founding Fathers set the Electoral College up. Why did they do this? Because they didn't want the states with the most populous speaking for the entire nation. They knew that if we went based solely on the popular vote, that the states with the largest number of populations, which in this case would be New York and California and Florida, three states would decide for the other 47. Is that fair? Hell no. So that's why they set up the Electoral College and why each state has a certain number of electors. And these electors have to cast their votes on election day. And the candidate for president has to hit that magic number of 270. Well, if you wanted to base it solely on the popular vote, Trump won that too. Once you take away all the votes uh, for Hillary that were cast by non-citizens, all the votes that were cast by people who were supposedly deceased, all the votes cast in multiple counties. So all the double votes, triple votes. You eliminate all of those. And Trump actually won the popular vote by a landslide too. But the problem is, people who are in the Democratic Party, who run these election places, they say, oh, no problem. We don't care if you're a citizen or not. As long as you got a driver's license, you can register and vote. <coughs> well, DACA Dreamers have driver's licenses. They're not citizens, but they get to vote in our elections. Illegals can get driver's licenses. They're not citizens but they get to vote in our elections. I mean, we couldn't go into Mexico and vote in their elections. Think about that for a minute, people. So meanwhile, Trump continues to do a fantastic job at making this country great. Look at this. Hemp is legal. Cannabis is soon to be legal nationwide. Marijuana. 
Hemp is already legal for industrial purposes in the new farm bill. Okay? And he's working hard. He's pushing hard for this wall to wall up our border and keep our nation sovereign. Okay? To stop the flow of illegals. To stop the flow of cartel drugs. To stop the flow of human trafficking. He's working hard at this. And Shylock's like fucking cock groomer. I'm sorry, I mean Chuck Schumer. Are out there just frigging arguing and resisting and saying, No border wall, no border wall. Well, you know why they don't want no border wall, right? Okay, because they do business with cartels. That's right. Nancy Pelosi, it's well known that she's a notorious crackhead. And Schumer, what do you think he shoves up that giant nose of his? Lots and lots and lots of cocaine. And they do business with the friggin' cartels. All the Democrats do cocaine. Hillary does it. Bill does it. Bill's Clinton's own brother, Roger, when he was released from prison and he got, he got an interview with the TV, he said that when it came to cocaine, his brother Bill's nose was like a vacuum cleaner. Hold on, kid. So anyway, they all do blow. They all do crack. They're all a bunch of fucking junkies, okay? They do business with the cartels. And then they make money using crooked CIA agents to help the cartels move that blow. Do you remember back in 2013 when a CIA agent was shot dead in a shootout with a border patrol agent? They opened up his van and they found 600 kilos of cocaine? That's what I'm saying. They got crooked agents in the CIA like Brennan who help the cartels run the drugs. The cartels pay them off to help them run the drugs. They pay off everybody in the Democratic Party who's helped hire them. We need to get these criminals out. We need to get the wall built and we need to do it now. Anyway, that's my thoughts on it for today. This has been another day with the Anonymous Patriot. You can all put that in your pipe and smoke it. Peace out, Patriots. Until next time.